capture themselves $25,000. Uh, I was probably going to be the greatest blocker on this tour that I've ever seen. Wow. Maybe not now, but he thinks he has the potential. What a set.
Rolex 1800. Choose from five distinctive styles. 13 exclusive colors. Over 50 unique looks. And over 100 Honda genuine accessories. It's our most powerful performance cruiser ever. But you, make it your bike. Create your own at vtx.honda.com. After you go online, go to your Honda dealer. Right now, payments start as low as $149 a month. What are you setting your sights on? And when you see it, will you be ready? Just pick up the phone, dial 1-800-645-ARMY, and you'll get this free DVD. You'll learn about the hundreds of opportunities the Army can offer you. Skills, education, health care. Call 1-800-645-ARMY, and you'll also get this free boonie hat. Whatever you're looking for, the Army can help you find it. Sam Sports Show, period, is the greatest nightly sports show on television with your hosts, Chris Rose, John Sally, Rob Dibble, and Rodney Pete. The best damn sports show, period, weeknights at 1030, only on FSN. Glad to be with you. Game one of our men's final here of the 2006 AVP Crocs Tour Tempe Open. Rodgers and Dahlhauser have won six of the last seven points. Was a, there was a whistle that may have come errantly. No, that was a, he called a double hit on the okay. set by Jake Gibb, and, and it wasn't a great set by Jake. I'm not sure if it was worthy of a, of a call. I think they do call a lot of balls that might, they, maybe they should call, but he gets in position, he gets both hands together, and just at the last second, the wind blew the ball just a, just a tad to the right, so he made an adjustment, and it looked funny when he said it, but is that a bad set? God, I don't know. The referee thought it was, so he made the call, and there's nothing we can do about it now. So it is 18-17. Wow. What a play to keep it alive. Rosenthal, a much-needed side out. Well, Todd's so great at digging. He dug that first one, and he didn't think Rosendahl would come back and hit the same shot right to him again, so he went behind the block, but Rosie said, screw it. I'm hitting it again, same place, but I'm hitting it harder. Rosie's Raiders in attendance here in the desert, coming from 8th Street, back in Hermosa Beach. Pardon me, back in yep, 8th Street in Hermosa, Rosie's Raiders, they are here, and they are ready to potty. Out. Jake Gibb and travels out of bounds. That set was way worse than the one he just called on Gibb. Gibb is furious. Well, you know, he, he's all right, but he had to question it because it, it was such a strange position, strange position to set that ball. It didn't come out bad, but it, a very difficult set to make for sure. And Gibbs going, well, why did you call that one? Came out much worse than the Gibbs set. Gibbs set, I thought, came out almost perfect. And uh, Dalhauser took that ball almost two feet in front of him, barely even got it out of his hands. Would you call either one a throw? I wouldn't have called either one, but if you call one, you got to call the other. 19-18. Rogers with a chance to tie us at 19. And it rolls out of bounds. So we have game point for Gibb and Rosenthal.
game one for Rodgers. Who's arguing? No one. <laughs> well, Rosie's been playing some great defense, too. Wow. Service air, game point number three for Gibbon Rosenthal. And that was uncharacteristic of Todd. Todd is the last one on that court who I thought would serve the ball into the net at this point in the game. A Bill Bill play there, maybe? Yeah. <laughs> A Todd Bill. He did a quick vacation to Bill Bill.
Set yourself up for the fifth, Sean Rosenthal. Will the fifth be the magical one? You know, that's a very interesting hit, Cards, because he went up high and he hit to the middle of the court. The block usually takes either sharp angle or back to the line, and the only open place really is in the middle of the court, and that's the hit he made. For the game.
Can't surprise me. <laughs> Bud Light and one Nagafuki surprise. Hey. Huh. Look at this. What's the big deal? Surprise! Refreshingly smooth Bud Light. Always worth it. Tastes kind of funny. It lay eggs now. Enjoy.
for performance. A woman captivated by beauty. One thing would bring them together. The world's first television for men and women. Trademark. Bravia. An awesome HD picture that looks really stylish on the wall. Sony like no other. What are you setting your sights on? And when you see it, will you be ready? Just pick up the phone, dial 1-800-645-ARMY, and you'll get this free DVD. You'll learn about the hundreds of opportunities the Army can offer you. Skills, education, health care. Call 1-800-645-ARMY, and you'll also get this free boonie hat. Whatever you're looking for, the Army can help you find it. Yankees Red Sox. The single biggest rivalry in professional sports. These two teams don't like each other. I think we've upgraded from a battle to a war. 86 years of domination. A lot of people remember where they were. And of course, the Red Sox fans hate me. The biggest comeback of all time. They literally had nothing to lose. And he can keep on running to New York. And the hatred lives on. Red Sox Yankees. The ultimate rivalry. May 29th, only on FSA. Now there's a reason CarPros continues to be the number one seller of new Kias in the entire United States. Everybody knows CarPros sells for less. Look at this Rio for example. Folks, this car comes with standard six airbags, five star safety rating, rated up to 41 miles a gallon, everyday low price, $89.88. Unbelievable. CarPros Kia Tacoma. Come see us. You're going to like what you see. It's happening all around the globe. People getting tricked by counterfeit brand name merchandise. And you won't believe what else is being knocked off. Mini Coopers. They're on the streets, everywhere. You think you're getting a real deal until you try to park it. Drive it. Or turn it. Don't be fooled by imitations. Be certain that your vehicle is genuine. Test drive an authentic Mini Cooper. Stop by your authorized dealer today. Northwest fans come first. FSN. Nearly 120 degrees down on the sand here. And again, a mental air made by Rosenthal and Gibbon. Now they are in a desperate situation. Well, they haven't been able to get the momentum back on their side. Todd and Phil have kept the momentum. I mean, a, a, an ace serve on the other side of the court, now coming back and serving between them again, and they can't decide who's going to pass it. It's a great serve. Rosie with a half dozen errors here in game two. Three errors made by Jake Gibb. Short serve. in their newly formed partnership, all were by sweep. 20 straight games won. And that's more how they did it. So that stops an 8-2 run for Dahlhauser and Rogers. And I'm not sure I would have served the ball to Jake Gibb on that play. After getting two aces and a block off Rosenthal, you've got to keep the pressure on the guy who's giving you the points. Yeah, I, I, Karch, I, I happen to agree with you there. <laughs> Another why, first, right? Yeah, why would you go away from the guy you're scoring on? No, there was that other time you guys agreed. Yeah. Rodgers. And that would be a legal way to keep the ball in play, although Jake Spiker Gibb unable to do anything with the left foot there, Pele style. Well, he had a choice. He could have gone head first and dove into the signage and maybe broke his neck. <laughs> and taken out his coach. Yeah. yeah. Or try and kick it. <laughs> so the taking out of his coach was actually the enticing <laughs> part, of right. course, guys. Another poor pass. Rosie.
Rosenthal. That's not oh. the left we're accustomed to. And the big man able to go over the top of Jake Gibbs. So we are seeing uh, the birth of a new championship team here, I believe, guys. Well, this weekend at least. Yeah, well, and that's exactly <laughs> why, as, as Todd talked about, Sinjin, that he sees this as truly a long-term investment. And when it's going your way, it is clearly going your way. You get the tape, you get the point, and you are two points away from your first championship as a newly formed team. And you know what? I think any other time, Sean would have kept on going. He made the right move to the net, but then he stopped. One more step, and he was there at that ball. Here it is. It hits the net, and it slows down. Everything's working right now. Just a bit long. Almost everything is working right now. Well, I'm not. It would have been a tough ball to set for Phil. It was dug up to that great dig, but up to the net, very close. I think he made the right decision. He just missed it. Well, this formation of a new team, a team that Todd Rogers hopes will lead him to Beijing, China, and the 2008 Olympic Games is one that still has to have some chemistry and some friendship, and in the same way that Dahlhauser and Lucena were, but. They certainly look good on the court right now at 19-9, two points away from the title in Tempe. Dahlhauser with the left hand in the block. Doing your partner's old signature move there, the Randy Stoklos Kong. The left-handed Kong. He went up, reached over, got his hand on the ball, and that ball, it, it was blocked not back onto the court, but it came back towards the other side of the court he was so far over. After he blocked it, it hit their side of the net. And we have game match championship points. The AVP 
Speed Crock Store Tempe Open has been brought to you by refreshingly smooth Bud Light. Always worth it. By Crocs, nowhere close to normal. By the AVP Mobile Fan Club. Text the letters AVP to 25000 or go to avp.com for details. And as always, the AVP Tour reminds you to vive responsibly. All right, take a look at our Xbox 360 play of the match. Incredible game one that went 28-26. Incredible points throughout. Little offense, little defense, and the defensive player has the offensive finish. And now time for our Gatorade Champions interview. Here's Mary Strong. Todd, you could be one of the best defensive teams out here. How much did that help you in this match? Well, Phil just took over the match in that first game. I was really struggling to side out, and he just said, hey, I'm going to jump serve, and he unleashed two bombs. That One was an ace and one was a free ball, and then he just started stuffing balls, and that made my job twice as easy. And you kept him out of Philville today. <laughs> yeah, he was really focused the whole time. I'd like to thank my wife and kids and all the AVP sponsors and all my friends out here and even Rosie's Raiders. Those guys just fire everyone up, and I, I love playing at Rosie because those guys just keep it fresh and fun. Now, you guys had a pretty rough start to the season in Fort Lauderdale, but what a comeback here in Tempe. What made the difference for you as a team out here today? You know what? I really don't know, but I just had something to prove this weekend, and I think I did all right. All right. <laughs> Congratulations to both of you. Thank you. This concludes our coverage of the AVP Crocs Tour Tempe Open, where once again in the men's final, the newly formed Phil Dahlhauser and Todd.